Welcome back. After the rants of the last few videos, the last of which actually got some really nice comments, I appreciate it. Let's get back to talking about important stuff to improve your eyesight. And today I have one from the Facebook group discussing active focus. And as you probably know, active focus is the one piece that is somewhat elusive, not easily described. I have a whole active focus link list, link below, I've made videos about it before. Discovering the thing that is the main stimulus that improves your eyesight and that also gives you the freedom to realize that things that are a little bit blurry are not necessarily a little bit blurry if you challenge your eyesight. And figuring out how to challenge your eyesight, figuring out how exactly to clear that little bit of blur is the challenge that's difficult to describe. And that's why I'm trying to add as many different voices and experiences and individual perspectives to this as possible to help you as you're looking for this yourself for something to resonate with you something that you can try that'll actually get you the active focus experience which is actually pretty simple once you get it it'll be completely obvious it's like wiggling your nose or raising your eyebrows hard to explain but once you know how to do it you know how to do it so i'm going to read you this uh, also link below in an article if you prefer to just read it yourself of a different way that somebody here discovered active focus. And I'm gonna skip the story. The person had some challenges, tried to improve the eyesight, was making good gains, lost her gains because it didn't have the right active focus experience. And then there's this interesting bit. Uh, let me share when I realized this. When looking at something slightly blurry to active focus, you don't want to think to yourself, oh, that's blurry, let me focus and make it clear. Because while you think this way, you might develop some bad habits that makes things momentarily clear, but it's not real gain. You might blink too hard, you might try to control some muscles around your eyes, etc. The better mindset should be, oh, that's blurry, let's see if I can describe the blurriness. You might look at the blurry edge and think, where does the blurriness start? While you're doing this, remember to completely relax your eyes and muscles around them. And blink normally and gently like you always do. The magic will happen automatically. As you're trying to describe the blurriness, you might start to notice the blurriness has shrunk and eventually might be cleared. Blinking won't make it more clear, nor make it blurry again. At first, doing this with stationary objects will be easier because it takes some time to be able to describe the blurriness. But later on, you will start to be able to do this with moving objects. Really interesting one. And I love these kinds of experiences and people sharing these experiences if you're a member of the facebook group you'll find more of these i don't always post them because a lot of times they're fairly similar to ones that we already have this one's quite different i'm not saying i'm not endorsing this as the way to find active focus but it's another way to look for it it's another way to that first experience the first time you actually have get to the active focus you're trying to activate something that doesn't have a tangible easily described switch right like it's a thing that once you get it you know how to get it but until you do it's just how do you describe this so feel free to try this out maybe it works for you the if, if it does work for you in any which case what happens is blurriness becomes more clear without you causing any physical exertion on your eye you're not blinking hard you're not squinting you're not straining the image drops into focus like it doesn't have to be in perfect focus but it goes from blurry to a lot less blurry that's the active focus experience and if you have that then you have the core key part to start improving your eyesight and that's it for the short rant free video for once uh, if you enjoy it give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and just as a quick note i've been making more videos lately because i'm finally in a place that's quiet and air conditioned and has good internet which I'm usually not, which may stop again tomorrow because the girl and the little monkey are gonna be here. So I don't know how much time I'll have to post videos. I do them whenever I can. See you in the next one.